So, last day we were making the maze and we managed to uh, have the person move around and walk into walls. Um, it looked like it could go through walls. So I needed to make uh, one other adjustment to the game. And what that uh, adjustment was, is I needed to put, um, make the wall solid. And what was happening is, when I would go to a wall, the uh, person appeared to continue to go through the wall. As you can see, it's going to go right through the wall. Uh, that's not okay. So what I need to do is I need to add one more event, and that's collision with a wall. And so if I collide with a wall, what I need to tell it to do is to also stop. I might also force it to align to the grid of 32 by 32. Now this is different from check to see if it's in a grid. Let me explain what this one does. What the align to grid does is if my person is halfway, if it hits a wall and it's just a pixel or two uh, towards a wall, align to grid would bounce it back out to the closest grid line and would place it nice and perfectly square into this little grid place. So again, the movement would be good and uh, the person uh, would not get stuck on walls. The next part of the game um, that we're going to do is we're going to add doors and diamonds. The door sprite is this sprite uh, right here called door. Uh, it looks like a wall except for it's red. Um, ideally I should have probably uh, created another sprite for a door. Um, I think a door that actually looks like a door would be better. Um, and you could go ahead and do that if you would like. For now, I'm just going to use a red uh, looking wall and call that a door. The other uh, sprite I want to have is a diamond. And uh, what I do here is I'll select the diamond. And finally, one of the other things that I want to make uh, to make the game a little bit more fun is I'm going to add some sound effects. So let's create some sound effects. We've already done that uh, previously. Um, I'm going to create a sound for the diamond and I will um, uh, choose a diamond sound or I might even take the Mario coin. I like that better. Uh, like so. Okay. Uh, so what's going to happen to the diamond object? The diamond object is very simple. What I'm going to do with a diamond object, I'll give it a name and call it object diamond. I'll give it the diamond sprite. I'm not going to make it solid because I want the player to go through this object. And all it's going to do is have a collision with a person. And so if the diamond collides with a person, and really it's the other way around, the person is moving to the diamond, the diamond doesn't move. But Either way you see, I'm in object diamond and object diamond is going to say, great, I hit a person. So in object diamond, it collides with a person. What is going to happen is I'm going to go to uh, main one and tell it to play a sound effect of the diamond sound. I tell the loop to be false and that means it'll only play the sound effect just once. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, go to score and go drag some score in and put 10. And I put a check mark on relative. And by putting a check mark on relative, what it means is if my score was previously 50 points, 10 would be 10 more. So I'd have 60 points. If I had 60 points, 10 relative would be 70 and so on. The last thing I'm gonna do is kind of interesting. I go to uh, main one and I tell myself to destroy myself. So the diamond is destroyed. Uh, pretty easy. That's all we do for diamonds. So let me add a couple of diamonds uh, to the first room uh, and I can test it out. Oops. Go here under object to add and select diamond. So 
So I'll add a couple of diamonds in this first room and I'll press play and just see if does it indeed uh, disappear and does it play the sound effect and does it give me some score? Um, that's all I'm going to do uh, to test it out here. And you'll see I've got a score of 10 points. Now I've got a score of 20 points. Great. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is uh, work on the door. The door object is going to be slightly different. What I need to do for the door object is for object door, um, I'll use the door sprite. And watch what I'm going to do here. I'm going to make it solid and I'm going to make it a parent. I'm going to give it a parent. And this is a really fundamental concept of Game Maker. Sometimes I want a door to do everything a wall does. So if I make it a parent is a wall, it really acts just like its parent. So I won't be able to, so the collision event with the wall will make it so that it can't collide with the door. The door is going to act just like the parent. So it saves us from needing to go into object person and other places and list event, okay, event for wall, event for door, event for other things. So by making it a parent, the wall's apparent, um, the door is gonna act just like a wall. One other thing though, in the step event of the door, I'm gonna make uh, the following actions happen. So what the step event is, is when the program is running, it goes through it. And what the step event's going to do, it's going to count the number of diamonds. And if the number of diamonds is zero, so the diamonds are zero. So if I've uh, deleted all the diamonds, what I'm going to do is I'm going to then destroy myself. The door will be destroyed. So that's how we open a door. So let's just test it out and put the door now in this room and see what happens. Um, I'll make kind of a useless door uh, right here. And um, actually, I'll make it a little bit more useful. I'll put the goal behind the door. And so watch what happens when I press play. You're going to see that I can't get to the door. The uh, sorry, the flag. And the person's going to figure, OK, I need to. It's obvious that you're to get to a flag. So I can't get to the flag. Um, so what I need to do is get both diamonds and now I can get to the flag. Okay, so now I've done that. Now object door, I want to do a little bit more to the door. I want to make the sound of a door opening. So I'm going to create a sound and the last thing I'm going to do is I'll call it sound door and I'm going to load uh, from the proper folder here. So I'm going to go to um, my uh, game maker maze game resources folder and I'm going to get the sound of a door. So this is the sound of a door. And what I want to do is when I open the door, um, I want it to play the sound. But this is a bit of a problem. If I was to do this, it would keep playing the door sound all the time because it's not tied into the number of instances because anytime we have an if statement, it does the very next thing. So I need to group if I want to do multiple things together. And so under control, you'll see there's a set of grouping. Uh, it says blocks. And so here's my if statement. If the number of diamonds is zero, then do all these things. Destroy the door and play the sound of the door opening.